Hey, it's Fit Gear Hunter in here. We're gonna talk about the new partnership with Whoop and CrossFit. We're gonna talk about the Whoop device, what I think about it, and I'm gonna share a little bit about some upcoming testing. Everything on this channel, Fit Gear Hunter and the uh, website associated with it, fitgearhunter.com, is focused on testing and tracking devices for CrossFit and high intensity interval training. So this new partnership with Whoop and CrossFit begs a great question, is Whoop really the ideal device for CrossFit. So we're gonna talk about that. I really do want you, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. What I have coming up, I'm gonna do the review of the Polar Verity Sense and compare it to the OH1 Plus. I have the review for the Enduro coming up shortly, and then I'm gonna do a comparison review of the Enduro plus the 6X Titanium Solar. So what is it about Whoop? What is it that made CrossFit want to go that direction. Is it a good device? Now, I did do a review of the Whoop 3.0 and the Whoop 2.0, but the reviews are so old, I'm not going to even put it in the comment section or the description below because the video is a little bit embarrassing. So it's just good to get an updated uh, review out on the table. I've got a Whoop on its way to the house. It should be here Tuesday. And what I'm going to do to track and test the Whoop is I'm gonna take it into all of the open workouts. So we're gonna test WHOOP in their new partnership with CrossFit on the CrossFit open workouts. I'm gonna compare it to the Polar platform and the Garmin platform, each wearing a chest strap because I've got some things to share about the heart rate sensor on the WHOOP when it comes to workouts themselves. But I'm gonna test it on the wrist when compared, you know, doing the open workouts when compared to a chest strap and looking at the analytical data of Garmin and Polar um, and what they provide versus what Whoop provides. And then later I'm going to do a review and alongside it for the full review is comparing it with wearing it on the bicep. Just to get it out of the way, you if you're going to wear Whoop, if you're going to join Whoop, if you're going to be a part of the Whoop family and you believe in whatever CrossFit's decision was, you got to wear a bicep band. You have to put it on the bicep for accurate heart rate tracking. What we've seen in all of our wrist-based optical heart rate sensors that when you're doing CrossFit and high intensity interval training, optical sensors fail. The best was the Apple Watch 6, but it doesn't have an in-depth training platform. Garmin, Polar, Sunto, Koros, any of those, they are not getting super high accuracy, which flows into all your numbers and your analytical data for your training load and your exertion level and your recovery time needed, needed and those types of things. So what do I think about WHOOP from the times that I did test the 3.0 and the 2.0? Let's get the bad out of the way. So in those tests, I found that the optical heart rate sensor when worn on the wrist was not nearly as accurate, not nearly as accurate as a chest strap. And WHOOP prides itself on estimating the impact on your body for the day's workout as well as the day's overall activity and the night before sleep. So they really are focused on the strain of your body throughout the day and most of that is centered on the strain of your body in a workout. But if you're not getting accurate heart rate data, and I think I remember it being in like the 60s, 60% 60 accuracy, you're missing a lot of the more intense peaks and zones and you're not getting an accurate strain score which flows into all of the rest of of the data that they're so quick to be proud of. So that is the main thing that we want to look at. Other reviewers, DC Rainmaker has review of the Whoop device and he has said, and he's just doing it doing running and biking with just intervals on running or you know ready steady state running or biking. He's found it to be one of the least accurate optical heart rate sensors on the market. So that, you know, again, begs the question, is it the best for CrossFit, which is a lot more intensity with a lot more peaks and valleys and your heart rate over the course of a workout. So that's the hardest thing about Whoop. But in general, what do I, what do I like about it? I like that it's simple. I like that it just sort of, it just tracks basic me metrics for strain and recovery and a quality of a night's sleep. I like that it's sort of lean on your wrist or on your bicep. I've seen other reviewers actually keep it on the bicep permanently throughout the day. Um, I like that it is focused on those primary areas. What do I not like about just the overall platform and product? I think it's a little bit overly simple. It's just focused on those basic areas. So you're only really looking at the device or looking at the data on the app off the device, you know, a few times a day. And it really doesn't tie in necessarily other aspects of wellness, other aspects of life or other useful information. So you have to have a watch of some other type if you want to get useful tidbits like all the widgets that are offered on many other platforms. So it, it basically focuses on recovery, you know, sleep, 
accuracy or sleep analysis and your strain over time, in depth, you know, sort of a, a view of the workout. But, you know, I did like that it had, you know, it's got a little um, battery charger that you don't actually have to take the device off. Um, but the clasp, the change of the band from the regular wristband to the uh, bicep band is a little bit problematic. So we're going to look at all of that in depth in a review when it comes out. But I at least wanted to get my thoughts out about what do I think of the WHOOP and CrossFit partnership. Now, I do think conceptually WHOOP offers some primary data that is useful to CrossFit training because the biggest thing about CrossFit training is how much of an impact that workout had on your body, how much recovery you need and what other aspects of recovery are, are flowing in to your body's health and overall strength to go hit the next workout hard and develop your training pattern over time. So that optical heart rate accuracy failure is a little bit of a big one. So we're going to look at it in depth in the upcoming weeks. So as always, Fit Gear Hunter, thanks so much for watching.